Well, hello everybody. Where the hell have I been? All kinds of places. I've been all over, really. <laughs> well, I got some videos I gotta edit up and mock up and whatnot, and I'm gonna try to get them posted up because I did fall off around July on making videos steady. But yeah, I pretty much have fallen off of the YouTube Earth. Minor recap, I guess. So the main things, I had my PC, uh, it basically crashed on me. So I got a new done up PC and I lost a GoPro Studio that I was using and GoPro no longer supports that. So I actually had to buy a video program too. So I got a copy of uh, Sony Vegas uh, version 15, I think it was. I got that back on Black Friday, a really good deal on uh, Best Buy. So now I'm working with that program a little bit, trying to get it to, you know, figured out and learned. I'm kind of a bit behind on my editing and whatnot. And the other big thing was I had a career switch. So I was selling cars at a dealership. I've basically dropped that and I went to oil field. So now I'm away for 28 days in a row, 14 day, 14 night, two weeks off. So my time is limited. I have very little free time now. So I'm probably not gonna be really, really steady with the channel either, but not a really a bad thing. I mean, there isn't a whole lot that I gotta really post and the income is great with the oil field stuff because it's keeping me afloat with everything else. And I've been doing a lot of stuff to the Chevy truck. So uh, it's helping me get ahead with stuff. Why not, right? So I'll try and keep this recap a little bit short and sweet, but like I said, oil field, so good income now. So I've been playing with Silverado a little bit. The whole point of this truck was basically always to do the work on my own and have it as a uh, easy fun fixer. But with a little bit of better money I've been making nowadays, I've kind of thrown that out the window. And that's kind of to be expected. The truck's filthy. I got tint all around. The entire windshield is 35%. Front doors are 15%. And then the back windows, I got 35 over that as well. For once, I didn't tip my own windows. I paid a pro to do it. And I like it. I didn't have to do really anything. And the 35 across the whole entire windshield, I like it a lot. Have not been pulled over for it yet. It's been like that for a month and a half. So I'll give it time, but I really like it. Looks good. Uh, since we're in here, I bought a Kenwood in-dash because the factory radios on this generation truck suck, but I can connect my phone to it now, which is great. I've got navigation. I got my Sirius XM. I can get Spotify. I'm really happy with it. There's all kinds of stuff I still don't know how to work on it. I'm very happy to have that in there. That was about 900 bucks from Best Buy because it a uh, harness to uh, adapt it to the whole system and the steering wheel controls, which I did not want to lose. And the radio itself was almost 700 bucks, so that was the ma majority of it. It was a free install, so I took that. Why not? You know, at least I can warrant the install if something was a screw up. So I really couldn't lose on that one. As you can also see. Tow mirrors. These are the filthy, but these are the Boost Auto tow mirrors. So I went with the all plastic black finish like stock. I got the uh, smoke strip lights and I opted for the high power reverse light. So they are nice. When the windows are dirty like they are though, it's basically useless. But that was one of the first uh, things I bought after I started getting some oil field checks. So I was like, I'm getting my damn tow mirrors. Wheels and tires still the same. Nothing's changed there. Lower rocker is resting a little bit more and I imagine it only will continue to get worse throughout the winter, but I'm gonna worry about that in spring, get that taken care of. And until then, I'm keep her going. Since the last time I had this truck on film, I pulled these uh, little LT badge stickers. Haven't pulled that yet or the door trim, planning to. Pulled the four-wheel drive stickers. That was a long time ago as well. I've done my exhaust a little bit. I just actually put these tips on the other day. These are the Go Rhino 2.5 M, 4 inch out, slant cut, rolled edge, 14 long. And they're about like, about 40 bucks I guess each on Amazon. I bought it from an A&A Auto, it was a little over 100 and change because you get, you know, your local packs and whatnot. Uh, the rear bumper still looks like crap. I'm planning on getting the move bumpers for that because I can't really 
get any damn cool bumpers that are already assembled for a half ton Chevy. I don't know, understand why. I guess the frame is so weak on them that road armor is not going to build a big bumper for it. And I don't know, but I also don't want that just like sticks out like a foot and a half from the truck neither. I really wanted the road armor, but they don't make it for the 1500. So I'm screwed there. I also did change my exhaust again. I did have the uh, Super 10 in it and I actually have these old videos on file on my computer. So I'm going to actually edit them up and do the video like I was originally going to do. But I'll go ahead and tell you right now what I did. So we got the stock mid pipe and somehow the Flowmaster Super 10 found its way out of the truck and I got a little Magnaflow wide pipe, three inch in, dual two and a half out. <laughs> so basically we are straight pipe with dual tail pipes with four inch tips. Sounds really good. I like it a lot. Now with a 5.3, it sounds pretty good. I don't have it true dueled or nothing like that. And I'm pretty sure that's been one of the main reasons why it doesn't have a heavy rasp. It does sound pretty good. It's pretty well toned. I'm gonna make you wait on that though. Other than that, that's about it for a Silverado. Lots of work, gonna come its way, I can tell you that much. I got something behind this F-150 that's gonna be a real game changer on that truck. But first of all, F-150, Hasn't done jack shit. Kind of thinking of selling it. Uh, unfortunately, I had to store my Trans Am at my house this winter because my guy that usually stored it for me, he has a uh, buying too many cars issue as well. So I got booted out. <laughs> it is what it is. But I'm going to have me some garage heat at least so that way I don't freeze my ass out here on the concrete. Here's the old factory radio. And there's the Kenwood that I bought. So that's the exact model of it, the DNX 57.5S. And yeah, I'm turning this truck into uh, winter storage. I just throw some shit in the bed. Now for the other good part for the Silverado, some of that oil field uh, bad money spendings. I bought an LQ9, a 6L, and there it is. <laughs> it's uh, propped up and the truck is kind of helping to hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good deal on that. It was about 1300 bucks, 92,000 miles on it. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with that motor. So it's going to get a mild cam, probably like a BTR Stage 3. Uh, I'm going to put long tube headers on it, which I already bought. I'm going to try to do a catted Y because I really, I had that Cobalt Catalyst and that wasn't really fun to always be sucking down the exhaust fumes and whatnot. Plus the 6.0 is going to be a very loud motor and for a daily driver, I'm already going to have to change my exhaust on it. There's no way I can keep that 6 straight pipe and tolerate it. Because the oil field site that I'm on is about five hours away. So I'm not listening to all that on the highway all that time. But yeah, I got a 6 liter. Uh, it's going to get a mild cam. I'm going to put headers on it, long tubes. And probably just an oil pump. Other than that, I'm just going to freshen it up a little bit. I mean, it's already fully dressed. It has coil packs, throttle body, alternator, PCM. Came with everything. Came out of an 04 Escalade. The LQ9 is unique in its own. It's got the flat top pistons. It's a 345 horse motor. And it should bolt right up to that 4L60, even though it's probably gonna kill it. It'll bolt right up to it, no problem. No flywheel issues or nothing like that. So that should be uh, basically a good fit and go. Normally, I'd probably have more fun with something like that and that. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired of the 5.3 and that thing. It's dog slow. It's like, Compared to this F-150, this F-150 smokes it. The 6L will give it a lot more oomph and boost. Plus that sound is just awesome. I remember the 05 that I had. Oh, that sound is fantastic. That 6L has its own natural sound. That's great. I do plan to waste a lot of money on this car. So far I've been good. I have bought some stuff for the Chevy, but I haven't thrown most of my money in my house. Fixing that up and replacing some furniture and whatnot. So earlier I mentioned I might actually sell the Ford. I might go full out GM here because the guy that uh, got me in with the oil field company that I'm in, he has a 2016 2500 HD Duramax. It's a white LTZ and he wants me to buy that from him and honestly, I really like it. 